Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Benedin and for today's video we're going to be doing another sunscreen review. Today we'll be talking about the Sunbum Daily Sunscreen Moisturizer and the Sunbum Daily Sunscreen Face Mist. I have reviewed a few other Sunbum products on my channel in the past. I'll link those videos up here. Full disclosure, these products were sent to me by Sunbum. I did not purchase them with my own money. I usually do purchase all of the sunscreens that you see on this channel with my own money so it gets kind of expensive to keep buying sunscreen. <laughs> screens um, so just want to let you know that I didn't purchase this with my own money they did send this to me but I'm not sponsored I'm not being paid to review so we will continue like always we're going to start out with the daily sunscreen moisturizer it is an SPF 30 they are marketing this as a lightweight formula that works as a protective base layer for our daily skin routine. Sunbum does claim to be vegan, cruelty-free, paraben-free, sulfate-free, all that jazz. As far as the active ingredients in here, it contains homosalate 10%, octocrylene 10%, octosalate 5% and avobenzone 3%. This does contain alcohol. I personally didn't find it drying because I know some alcohol in some products does make you feel like you're face is being stripped. I didn't have the experience with this, but just keep that in mind. It does have alcohol. This does contain niacinamide, which is a form of vitamin B3. Um, it helps with calming redness, balancing oil production. For me, I feel like it low-key helps with my acne, and it just helps to kind of smooth and balance out your skin. They have wild rosella in here. I don't think I've ever heard of that ingredient, but on the website, it says it's an Australian flower known for retaining moisture and extreme clean climates. When used in skincare products, it works to help keep our skin feeling hydrated and resilient. And then like I said, lots of banana extracts in here. Banana is an antioxidant which protects your skin kind of from free radicals. So those are kind of the key ingredients in here. So on day one when I wore the sunscreen, I wore it without moisturizer because I use this as my moisturizer because it is a moisturizer. Um, and I applied it to my face. It's a pretty lightweight formula and it doesn't feel like oily or greasy when you initially apply it. If I were to compare it to the Face 50 sunscreen from Sunbum, I think this one is slightly lighter and definitely less like, I don't think Face 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 50 is greasy, but it's definitely more like emollient. It does smell like the classic Sunbum scent, which is kind of like a banana-y, tropical scent to it you know i don't really love fragrance and products but i don't mind it if i don't feel like it's irritating my nasal passages and this did it it was a very like light scent and then it kind of dissipates a little bit when i initially put it on my face it did not irritate my eyes but when i started to get a little bit like sweatier i feel like the product does run into your eyes so i wore it for two hours and came back and this is what it's looking like i think it actually looks really good um like i said i do have oily skin so you might see a little bit of oils in my T-zones, but it's really like, this is not bad. So I came back and blotted and reapplied. Since this is a moisturizer, um, I don't know if I necessarily recommend using it as your method of reapplication. It did work out okay, but I feel like it felt slightly heavier than it did with the first application. Um, so you are able to wear it in layers, but I feel like when you get to like, your third or fourth reapplication if you are reapplying that much it might become a little bit too much and then i also tried this out with makeup put this on as my moisturizer let it dry and then i put my makeup on top of it i think it wore pretty well underneath makeup as you guys can see it's not really doing too much of like a glow or giving too much matte it was just a nice in between base step so i wore it for a couple hours with makeup usually i try to stick to two hours but i'm pretty sure on this day i got distracted and I was out and about so this is probably what like four hours looks like um, but I came back and this is what it's looking like again I have oily skin so you're gonna see a little bit of glow around my t-zones but it actually looks pretty good like I was expecting a lot of oils since this is not like an oil controlling product but I do think that when products have niacinamide in it I tend to get a little bit less oily so that's I'm definitely sensing that here in this sunscreen I did not reapply with this over makeup I just I feel like it could work 
over makeup but I don't like to use like moisturizers to reapply over makeup because I feel like it just ends up picking up too much of the product and moving it around I'm not sure I didn't fully test it out with this but my hypothesis <laughs> would be that this probably wouldn't be the best to reapply over makeup but it does sit really nicely underneath makeup I can see this daily sunscreen moisturizer working on pretty much all skin types for my oily skin it worked out okay if you have dry skin I feel like this could also work out and I did end up wearing it with moisturizer on one day I don't think I recorded it though but I end up wearing it with moisturizer zero on one day for my skin it was too much but I just wanted to make sure that it's able to layer over other products and it doesn't peel up or anything and it doesn't so if you have drier skin and you want to wear something else underneath I can see that working as well no white cast and I didn't expect that because this is a chemical sunscreen so it does work out for people with deeper complexion the girls with sensitive skin I didn't experience any real sensitivities to this and no breakouts from this one I did have the issue with it irritating my eyes and kind of running into my eyes um, so just keep that in mind and also if you are sensitive to fragrance this does have fragrance in it it has that tropical -y, banana coconut -y smell to it let's move on to the next one the next one is the daily sunscreen face mist and I I'm just gonna say this I don't have as many positive things to say about this one so the daily sunscreen face mist is an SPF 30 it is water resistant for 40 minutes was the other one water resistant yeah I didn't say that the other one was water resistant for 80 minutes the moisturizer the face mist is just for 40 minutes the active ingredients in here are avobenzone 3% homosalate 10% octosylate 5% and octocrylene 6% so another chemical sunscreen some of the fun ingredients in here it also has banana and it so you're gonna get that tropically scent with this one as well it contains brown algae so brown algae has a lot of vitamins and minerals including vitamin A and magnesium it it also contains it also contains vitamin E which is an antioxidant which helps to fight some of those free radicals this one let's just say this one burns your eyes like I said the other one stings your eyes a little bit when it like slowly moves into your eyeballs this one absolutely do not recommend spraying it directly on your face unless you want to be crying for the rest of the day for sure stings your eyes um, so my preferred method of applying this was to spray it on my hand and then spread it on my face to avoid getting it on my eyes because if you spray it directly on your face like you just cannot avoid your eyeballs <laughs> so but you can apply it that way and I'm sure that's the way that they want you to apply it considering that they said use it as a setting spray mist but for me I found that it worked better when I sprayed it on my hand also the smell of this oh my gosh it was intense it smells like straight up alcohol mixed in with banana tropical scents so it's a lot but as far as the application when I did apply it to my hand and then put it on my face I found that the finish of it was okay I feel like you can wear this solo or with a moisturizer I ended up wearing it solo because for me it comes off as like a normal finish as well like the moisturizer I just felt like this one felt a little bit greasier than the one than the moisturizer which is weird because it's a spray so you'd think that it would be a little bit like lighter <laughs> but it wasn't um, but the finish didn't make me look like super glowy it wasn't matte it was just kind of an in-between finish to it I just felt that when I touched my face it felt like there was something there it took a while for it to fully dry down yeah it took a while for it to fully dry down but it's looking okay um, it was just all right <laughs> I didn't love it didn't hate it when I wore it like this so after two hours this is what it's looking like I'm looking a little bit shinier on this one after the two hour mark especially around my t-zone and honestly I feel like it never fully dried down even after the two hour mark it still felt like there was just something sitting on my skin whereas the other one felt like it like just absorbed and dried a little bit better so I came back blotted and reapplied and reapplication was okay um, this is it's pretty light so reapplication didn't feel like I was adding an extra layer so I guess this would be a decent option for reapplication but again it doesn't fully dry for me so 
I guess I wouldn't really use it as my reapplication. So this one wears pretty much the same underneath makeup. The only thing I'll say is because it doesn't dry down and you get a little bit more of that greasy feel to it, it wasn't really my favorite, especially when I was going in with a more glowy foundation. Um, so it works okay so they do market this as a setting spray as well so i wanted to see what that looks like when you s try to set your makeup with it so i sprayed it on top of makeup and as you guys will see it kind of just it just sat there you know instead of drying down and like disappearing it sort of just like sat on top of my makeup and it didn't look that great to me so i went ahead with a with a beauty blender and kind of blotted it in which this is what I would normally do when I reapply sunscreen over makeup so it wasn't like a huge deal but I feel like if you're gonna market it as a sun setting spray then it should dry down like a setting spray but I went ahead and blotted and as you guys will see it was just it was just a little bit too greasy for me so my overall thoughts on the daily sunscreen face mist I don't think it's worth it. I really didn't enjoy my experience with this. I feel like on bare skin, it was okay. It didn't feel like it fully dried down. The smell was pretty terrible. And like I would be able to wear it, but would I ever rebuy it and use it again? Probably not. For people with acne prone skin, I don't think I would recommend this to you. The Daily Sunscreen Moisturizer, I didn't experience any breakout from this, but the Daily Sunscreen Face Mist, I did have like quite a few breakouts after wearing this for a bit. Um, you know, just those like whiteheads, and that's how I know. Like if I'm getting acne in areas that I don't normally get acne, it's the product, it's not my skin. So it made my face very itchy. <laughs> um, I should have said this right away in the beginning, but like I was just, it was just like a tingly, itchy feeling. Not enough for me to wash it off. It wasn't like burning, but I definitely found myself being like, I think it works fine underneath makeup. Would not recommend putting this over makeup unless you wanna redo your full face again. So those are my thoughts on the two Sun Bum products. I'd say if you were to pick one up to try, I would only recommend the Daily Sunscreen Moisturizer. Definitely skip the face mist. That's it for today's video. If you guys have tried any of these products, and you love them, let me know if you tried them and you hated them. Also let me know your thoughts in the comment section below because we all have different skin types and concerns. And just because something was okay for me doesn't mean it'll be okay for you. And just because I didn't really like a product doesn't mean that you won't like a product. So that'll be it for today's video. As always, leave your sunscreen recommendations down in the comment section below. And that's it. I'll see you guys all in the next one. Bye.